Okay, let's move on. See, uh, this is the Python. Uh, you know, uh, you, this is the way you you are assigning. You can assign this way too. Uh, you know, uh, a equal to two and then b equal to three. So in this way, you can assign. It. So you, this is simple way, right? A equal to two, b equal to three. But Python, it will, uh, you know, uh, accept that a comma b equal to uh, two comma five means it will consider a value is two and then b the assignment value is five. So if you are swapping that variables a a comma b equal to b comma a, which means you know uh, what is the value of uh, a here two, then value of b equal to five. So here we are swapping it. What is the value of b? B is five. So imagine one second. Uh, let me command statement five. Then what is the value of a? A value equal to be assigned declared here two, right? So a equal to two. So what will happen? So whenever you write a program, so the uh, interpreter reads line by line. Okay, it reads first line. So okay, here what you do, you have done, you are assigning uh, two variables with uh, some values. Okay, now it, it calculate um, allotted memory a equal to two and then b equal to five. Then next interpreter goes to this line, um, line number five. So whenever you use hash sign or uh, you know I told you doc uh, doc string, what is that? Using a triple uh, quotes. Okay, the compiler or interpreter won't consider that uh, that code okay it will skip this line line number four it will move on to line number five so line number five so what is the value for a see you know it will take that value b value what is a b here five then a equal to two so uh, in uh, the kind interpreter uh, getting that value for a equal to five and then b equal to two now we're gonna print a comma b what you will get uh, whenever uh, see five comma two so easily you can swap it but uh, you know c plus plus other programming languages you have to create a temporary uh, variable so you know that variable right a comma b uh, is is called a uh, identifier or variable you can say that right okay uh, you know you have to create a temporary variable so I'm talking about C++. Then you you have to start, uh, you know, swap that value. Temp, temp equal to A and then a B equal to A and then move uh, temp to B. In this way, uh, uh, you have to, you know, uh, change that uh, data and uh, change that values. So the other languages are a little bit, you know, the syntax is a little bit uh, different, but Python is very easy. Uh, you know super easy uh, you you have you can understand that that is why they are saying that python is very simple and easy to use so for, for looking this uh, you know uh, this two lines of code you you can understand okay what is the value of a and b what they have did in uh, here so uh, you know the values are swapped here and then and the resultant value we are passing that command to print a comma b so you you will get the resultant value here Okay, then uh, let's move on to uh, next one. So, what are the merits? Merits advantage of uh, using a Python. So, so, keep on, you know, saying the same story. It is a object oriented. Uh, you know, we are writing in a high level languages, expressive languages, uh, capable of expressing uh, the codes in process. So that is what I, I, I have explained here. You know. Um, it, 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 by looking at this code, you can you can tell that okay, what we have done, if we have swapped that values. So, so the, the code itself it's expressing what we have done easily. Okay, the interpreter languages, other programming languages or compiler lang uh, languages. So you know the meaning of interpreter. Uh, I'll you know many times uh, again and again many times we have discussed it. So compiler, what it do, uh, it will do? Compiler is a program. So you know, compiler is a program. Interpreter is also program. So uh, you know, if the whenever uh, they develop operating system or any dev, uh, Python or C programming, 
they develop with a interpreter or compiler they linked with the, with that okay so interpreter how it works interpreter is a program that works as a translator it translate uh, you know um, high level languages into uh, you know uh, machine level languages by line by line so compiler it converts the same way uh, you know but it converts every program uh, sorry entire program in one go okay then let's move on to other uh, merits okay um, it complete nuts when it's installed okay uh, how you install python i will explain there are many distributors uh, c python and anaconda uh, you, when you install uh, uh, python it is a free software free software means uh, you know when you go to a website you you don't you don't need to pay for it a licenses everything will be free so you know different software on uh, you can install uh, for trial period you know three months they will uh, uh, you know some products if you install only one month or three months trial period period you can use it after that you have to pay for the license uh, have you uh, noticed that one guys not only the, you know i'm not talking about the software uh, um, many things uh, you know um, scanner or any uh, you know uh, how do you say that in a, give an example anyone have an idea that you know the, when you download something uh, to use maybe uh, you know uh, converted from uh, you know audio file into something you know dvd downloader or uh, you know from a movie downloader uh, those kind of uh, softwares it, uh, when you install you know if it is a uh, really worth uh, then they only three months period or one month trial period will uh, it is a uh, free so after one month the you know you cannot open the uh, software maybe sometimes it will allow you to open that software but you cannot run it because uh, you have to pay for it but python it is a free software you can install anywhere uh, from uh, you know download it uh, from the website there is a proper legal website is there you cannot download you know google uh, one second let me show you python installer installer you know download python org this is a legal website uh, they, they, uh, they will show some other uh, downloads here you cannot use it uh, so you have to know that which website is a uh, legitimate or you know uh, proper website you know if it is a windows based you can you know um, close your eyes you can download right away but python is a different uh, thing uh, so um, but when you install that Python, it will come up with the, you know a shell, and then you know uh, 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 what do you call uh, all other you know uh, IDLE and then pip package and then Python interpreter. Everything uh, will come together. You can directly you can open that uh, um, uh, editor, and then right away you can use it. Uh, different uh, distributors you cannot uh, you know uh, uh, use it because uh, when you install it, you, you will you have to link with the operating system, or sometimes you have to you know uh, download some libraries. Uh, different things are there. But Python uh, it allows you to uh, one whenever you install that uh, Python uh, proper download uh, thing uh, distributor, immediately you can open that uh, editor IDE. IDE means uh, Integrated Development Editor. So right now I am using a PyCharm editor. So which I downloaded from um, python.org. So after install the PyCharm, I can, uh, you know, I don't need to link with any any other uh, libraries or I don't need to download any module or anything. Just I can open it and then run. Uh, I can work with that. So that is what they are explaining here. Uh, you know, what is it? OK, when install, we get everything we need to do only coding. So cross-platform languages, you know, you can use install in uh, Python in a Windows, Linux, or Mac, or uh, so Mac is an Apple, right? So you can install anywhere, and then, uh, you know, the operating system will work uh, with the Python. So the, uh, free and open source. So that means 
free and open source means the source code is available in website um, you don't need to pay for it even uh, sometimes uh, the license agreement also free the, so you can download it and then install it okay then let's move on to um, demerits okay well, uh, the, you, when, uh, if something has positive then definitely there will be a negative right so if you have advantage definitely you will have a disadvantage also so python has that uh, you know disadvantages too so it is not faster language why it is not faster language because it is you know we are using a interpreter so interpreter means what it will do uh, it will run first line so some sometimes if i do some mistake here then uh, you know when i run uh, this program uh, after finding first error it will throw error here so if I come, uh, you know, correct this error, then only the compiler moves on to next line. So it will take uh, time, right? So that is why it's saying Python is a, uh, you know, it's not a fast language. Lesser library than C and Java, uh, uh, period. You know, um, in C, C++, Java, they have um, many libraries. Uh, that library is called, you know, um, NumPy, Panda libraries. Uh, you know, NumPy libraries, you will study uh, in later in grade 12. Uh, you know, from numeric calculation, especially uh, different uh, format is there. You have to import that, uh, uh, you know, NumPy libraries, then SCY libraries. Uh, those libraries, when you install Python, uh, you know, you can you cannot work with uh, some uh, libraries. You have to import that. So that is why they are saying that lesser libraries. So not strong on uh, type binding. So what is what does that mean? Uh, you know, once uh, you, uh, very uh, you know starting stage, you are declaring that a equal to uh, two. So a equal to two means uh, you know it will can treat as a that variable a is a integer type. So later, uh, when you um, you know you are writing a hundred lines of code in a seventy fifth line, I'm assuming a equal to within a change in string. But a Python doesn't uh, you know throw error. Um, you know sometimes it will clash, but it won't throw error. That is what they are uh, saying that it's a not uh, strong on uh, type binding data uh, data type binding. Other languages. You know, C, C++, Fortran. Once you declare that a variable is as integer or character, you you know wherever, whenever you use that uh, variable, you have to use exact data type. Otherwise, it will throw error. Okay. So the next move on to uh, okay installation Python. So you know in website there are many uh, distributions are available. So now uh, in grade eleven and twelve you're gonna study only C Python distribution. Anagoda distribution also, uh, you know, it's helpful, but, you know, uh, we mostly we use C Python distribution. So how do you install a C Python distribution? Go to www.python.org. I already I have installed it here. Let me show you. Okay, let's open python.org. See, there is a download button. Then you click a, uh, here already. The latest version uh, will be, uh, you know, uh, on the top. Always they, uh, you know, put on the top. So Python 3.8 for Windows. If you are using a Mac and then uh, you have to, you know, uh, Mac OS. See here, you have to click it. Uh, you know, for if you click all release, uh, you know, whatever the uh, release versions are available, they will uh, show it on the bottom. See, Python, you know, uh, release schedule and then uh, the first late older version to latest version, everything will be there. Then always, you know, we go for latest version, right? So download Python 3.8 and then, uh, you know, from there, when you download it, will, uh, after downloading, it will uh, pop up uh, that you have to install that Python or not. If you install, you can, you know, right away you can work on it. Okay, then when you install after install Python, there are uh, two modes, interactive mode and then script mode. Okay, let's move on to interactive mode. So whenever you install Python, it will come up with Python IDLE. IDLE is uh, expansion is 
uh, interactive development learning editor so this one is ide uh, you know we are not um, we, we would say that python pycharm is a ide interactive development editor so shell you know uh, let me open that ide see python ide <coughs> So uh, here you can write only one line and then press enter, uh, you know, adding a two plus three. Um, when you click, it will give the result. So if you are printing that, it's so you are learning it, right? How to calculate, how to print uh, this kind of thing. That is why the Python shell is called IDM. Okay, now we can run that Python from command prompt, you know, command prompt, right? CMD. When you click, my laptop is, uh, you know, Windows 8.1. So that is why I'm, uh, you know, um, searching and um, finding that uh, command prompt or shell here. So most probably, uh, you know, Python, um, sorry, Windows 10 or whatever, this, there is a start button. So you can, if you click it, that, that there will be a text box. You can type and search it. Okay, now command prompt, you can type a Python. So then at uh, uh, three, uh, you know, this starting uh, uh, portion uh, part will be there. Then you can uh, write a Python code print. Uh, hello, welcome to, uh, welcome, welcome to Python world. Whatever, then close close quote and then close bracket then hit enter you know no command prompt uh, you can run only uh, you can type only one uh, one line and then hit enter you will get the result so print command within uh, parenthesis what you you are writing that will be um, you know um, written here okay so for, for example if you calculate something uh, you know you have 53 or whatever multiplication of this and then press enter i'm entering uh, you know i am pressing enter it, it will return that value okay so the same way uh, python shell also uh, you can write a single line command uh, you know for example multiplication of this and then hit enter you will get the result okay i want if you want to store that um, uh, you know code for example uh, you know, I'm writing uh, two lines of code or uh, ten lines of code. What? How we can do using a Python shell? So you open, uh, you know, new. It uh, it will open that no uh, notepad. Then I'm going to write some code. Print. Uh, hello. Hello, everyone. What I have to do then? I I have to save this one save as so when even uh, when you save that one make sure and you know uh, the extension should be dot py sometimes you know uh, if you work and then it will go to um, text file or uh, word doc or anything so make sure the uh, extension should be dot py or dot py dot uh, w so i'm giving name uh, you know um, abc or whatever so I'm saving it, and then if you want to run that uh, code, so what you you can do to so see here, run prompt, sorry, uh, on the menu, run, uh, run module F5. So you will get hello everyone. Okay. So this is the scripting um, uh, mode. So scripting means you are writing a, a, a program. So, you know, for example, A equal to I'm writing A equal to 56 then b equal to uh, whatever 78 or whatever print a plus b or okay let's do it this way c equal to a plus b then print c okay i'm saving this this time I'm not, uh, you know, using a save as, uh, just a simply control as yes. save, save is fine. Then I'm going to run this program, uh, run the script. So what I will get first, uh, I will get hello everyone, then result and value of C, okay? Okay, because this ABC module, see whenever you save that uh, file abc.py, it is called module, okay? 
I will explain here uh, when you work on PyCharm, I will explain it. Um, uh, you know, uh, this script, where, where I, I'm going to run the script by clicking F5. So see, first I got hello everyone and then the resultant value of uh, C, okay? You got it? So uh, see, when you write some uh, set of block of code that is called a script, uh, you know, in uh, Python shell. You, you understand this one, right? Guys? Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. Uh, you know, mostly we don't use uh, Python shell. So why we are, uh, you know, using Python shell? Just, you know, learning time, uh, learning process. Uh, how do you, you know, write a small piece of code and then uh, how to save that uh, the script and then uh, how to run it, okay? So most probably we are, uh, even though in the command prompt only one line will be executed, so one, most of, you know, 99%, maybe 100%, uh, we are going to use only the pie chunk, okay? So here, okay, let me take that, um, not, okay. See, next move on to, already I told you, interactive mode means only one line will be executed. And then scripting mode means you can write a block of code and then save it and then you can execute that. You know, later you can open that. Okay, I closed it, right? ABC dot five, right? Okay, let me open that IDLE. Then let me open that. So I save this one, right? Open, it will open in a separate uh, uh, sheet. Then I want to run here. If I run, then I will get the value on the main uh, shell page, okay? You got it, right? So in this way, you can you know write many uh, line of codes and then save it. Uh, you know that uh, after later, just open that uh, by module and then you can run it, okay? So let's move on to Anagonda. Uh, so I, I I haven't installed Anagonda uh, so far because already I have it. It is not, not, not that much uh, important to uh, you know uh, install and then run it. I just go through uh, in your textbook. They will you know they will uh, given that uh, images and then uh, you know. So whenever you install the Anagonda uh, uh, distributor uh, distribution, it, it will give you Jupyter Notebook and then Spider IDE. Spider IDE is nothing but uh, you know the PyCharm IDE, but uh, the Jupyter Notebook, uh, you know, when you open it, it's look like you know uh, not exactly like a Python shell, but uh, you can run a two three lines at a time, and then you, uh, it, you can write a two three lines or maybe more than that. Uh, then uh, it will uh, you know allows allows you to execute. Here, for example, I'm uh, you know writing here uh, a equal to six. Then when I enter, it will treat as a separate uh, line, right? So I can uh, you know write this way. Uh, what is that? And uh, whatever then c equal to the same procedure how i saved in a scripting mode in a abc dot python a plus b then i am going to print so what you want to print c so that's it no need to uh, you know uh, put within a single quote or double quote if i enter it it will show me the result here what you are doing line by line you are writing it all right so you have to enter then it will give give you that prop you have to enter another thing but uh you know the jupyter notebook how it works let me show you Notepad. so that will be a, you know a triangle box or how do you say that okay triangle box or something a equal to five or and the b equal to uh, eight or then c equal to uh, a plus b and then print the c so everything comes with uh, uh, one box and then if you run that it will print uh, immediately it will print like this okay here in every line it will give, it gives you a prompt you have to enter but uh, by Jupyter, you can write, uh, you know, you, you can write like this and then when you hit uh, run button, then it will give you a result like this. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, let's move on to um, 
word dark what is that okay <clears throat> see i told you whenever you install it will uh, the anagonda distributor it will come come up with a jupiter a jupiter uh, notebook and it is a web based and then interactive computing environment and then spider ide so we we, we inst i installed uh, you know uh, c python uh, distributor so i get uh, you know idle and then pick package installer when uh, you know when you in uh, connect with uh, some other you know database then you will learn about what is a pip package installer okay the python interpreter i, I am using a python okay you don't need you don't need to install uh, you know anagonda or either one of you you can install if you install anagonda then you will use a uh, you know spider ideal this the spider uh, editor see this one uh, if you use um python c python you, you're gonna use uh, you know uh, python okay so here let's move on to python I, i'm not going to explain more about uh, anagonda and then jupyter notebook so exactly the working logic is same as uh, you know c python distribution but uh, the uh, look and feel is little bit different okay so when you install pycharm uh, it looks like this so here right hand side you, you are going to write uh, you write whatever the uh, python code you going to write it here uh, on the left hand side uh, so that uh, you know whatever the libraries uh, you know okay when you install you you have to, you are going to create a new project so i am given the name hello world okay here i created many um, uh, python modules because of uh, great well i created this for modules see you know whenever you install you going to work with the main dot file so main dot in this uh, module only you are you can write a code see whenever if i open this so here uh, this module has set up set of code if i run this you know only the main uh, program so if whatever i have written here that one only uh, you know execute execute okay so in main dot py uh, py this module uh, this page you can write all the all your python code okay here not this okay here on the bottom of the pane uh, you know whenever you run the python code it will show you that uh, you know uh, it, it's called the console uh, what is that console panel uh, you will you know receive the results or uh, any errors it will you know it will display here on the bottom of your panel okay that's all uh, you know how do you write uh, run that uh, you know python code there is a triangle green color triangle button uh, you can click either click here or from your keyboard shift f10 or you can go to menu there is a run uh, command then from uh, top there is a button called run main if you click it the whatever the program uh, written here it will be executed okay guys so far you okay right because this chapter is you know uh, I, i think it is excluded i am giving you an idea what how to install what to install uh, suppose if you have a computer or a desktop or laptop if uh, you are going to the all uh, obviously you're going to install it right so see python uh, from www.python.org install it and then you will if you can start working with a small small programs okay let's move on to python fundamentals you see you know <coughs> sorry so python uh, you know uh, this is a pycharm so python i can write anything so i will delete it i cannot run it right now okay so let me uh, explain python character set you know whatever you are writing so those are called characters right character set so what is mean by character set in your keyboard you have a you know letters special characters you know comma quot uh, quotation black back backslash or you know open bracket close bracket and then numbers everything are considered uh, as a character set so in python you can use a, a, a letters a to z capital a to z or small a to z 
uh, A to Z are, uh, you know, uh, then um, digits. Digits, obviously, you know that uh, 0 to 9. So anything you can write as special symbols. So special symbols means in, in keyboard, in what you can see, uh, you know, uh, dollar, hash, uh, you know, at symbol, ampersand, uh, score, uh, and the star, everything, everything is included. And then white space, you know, the blank space, when you hit blank space, that will be included. Carriage written, we will see uh, later, you will understand what is carriage written and then, you know, new line feed or something. And then other characters, Python uses the ASCII uh, and then Unicode characters as well. So, you know, if you're using an ASCII code or Unicode, you have to write, uh, you know, zero or O and then zero. No, other way around. Zero and then O and then plus X or A or whatever. That ASCII code. It will treat as a ASCII code or unique code. So these all um, uh, you know uh, characters uh, are included. Uh, called as uh, you know. Uh, sorry, the Python can uh, you know use these all characters. In. Okay, next to move on to tokens. So tokens means, uh, you know, whatever we write in an English uh, letter, hello world, for example, hello world. Then let's yeah. start. Yeah. What happened? Normally call. Hmm? Nothing. Ramita? No, tell me what happened. No, ma'am, uh, you asked some things only. No, I didn't ask anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Ramita, right? Nothing, ma'am. Okay, okay. Never mind. Okay, uh, tokens. Tokens means, uh, one second, let me write this. Individual word and the punctuation marks are called tokens. Here in Python, we have many tokens, keywords, identifiers literals operators punctuation for example uh, you know here let's work on it let's work we work on it you know this is called uh, you know english sentences right here uh, we we use apostrophe and uh, sorry a uh, single quote and then apostrophe mark everything will uh, you know, we, we can use token or lexical a unit. Uh, it, uh, it, it's called a, a token. You know, for, when you declare a variable, so you use, um, you know, a name. That name is called as an identifier. For a, I imagine uh, we're going to use A equal to 15 or whatever. Here, this is called identifier. So you are identifying that values. So this is value, this is identifier. So you are, uh, this A is identifying for that value, okay? So uh, this, everything is considered as a token. And the token, sometimes you, you may call it as a uh, object. We will study when, whenever you call that particular item um if i say item then this is the item so particular item or identifier as a uh, you know object i will explain it later okay python has many tokens i told you keywords what is a keywords keywords means uh, you know the special meaning so for example if in python we're gonna write uh, use if else if for you know uh, logical variables uh, you know true or false none define those kind of special meanings you know for example here for variable i i can use anything right so i can use oh, okay okay this one i can use anything but this is and uh, this entire thing as a variable name right identifier identifying that value but keywords uh, that there that has a special meaning he, he, this word doesn't have any meaning right so you are, uh, it is uh, identifying particular values so python keywords has special meanings you cannot change it uh, you know it is a case sensitive if if you are using a if uh, 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 keyword 
you have to declare with a, a small letter if it is starts with small letter then you have to declare for example you are using a, a true or false then it start with a capital letter and then uh, the rest of the uh, letters will be a small letter you cannot change it so it is a case sensitive um you know defining function so uh, okay let me write it here one by one you may get confused we are learning token so in python we have a uh, tokens like a keyword keywords and then identifier identifiers literals and then operators punctuations c t u a t i o n punctuations okay so tokens means uh, you know it's a, com a combination of individual word and the punctuation marks are called token or lexical unit okay for example um, name equal to uh, you know uh, whatever you are declaring here name equal to okay i don't want to mention name here uh, abc or test test equal to uh, write dog here this one is called identifier this one is called value so you may say that data you know always uh, we remember that data right so this is the value this is the identifier so here everything come together is called a token okay you understand now right <clears throat> so yes, this is the string uh, if you uh, write um, values within single quote or double quote it is called a, a string uh, string literal here's identifier means this one this is the identifier test is a identifier so this is the values this value is a string type string type means you know that um, uh, you know uh, it is a alphabets okay so string data type is the alpha you have a uh, familiar of uh, data types you know numbers booleans already um, did i explain that or not in previous chapters guys anyone anyone speak up what happened am i in line am i disconnected or not guys anyone danisha sanjay you know that right uh, what is that? what are the data types of available you know it or not because i will explain um, one by one okay have we, uh, you know what is the meaning of data type do you have an idea okay okay what is a uh, what is a data anyone can uh, answer me what is the data data is a collection of information right so in any languages you have to you, uh, there are different data types you know string and then you know number number means in c c++ uh, you can define as a integer so you, in python you don't need to declare uh, in prior when you start writing a program you don't need to declare okay uh, this is the integer value or whatever if you assign something then python it will uh, treat as a okay this this identifier is a string type for example if i assign sum equal to or uh, a equal to uh, 45 means this identifier is a uh, you know a number type integer or floating integer means uh, without a uh, fractional point uh, you know floating point means with fractional point okay so this is the floating point number if you are saying only just 45 so which means this identifier this uh, variable a is a integer type so it will um, uh, allocate that memory um, you know this bit uh, one bit or two bits you know where it's by default how uh, you know python declares um, you know data type uh, it is an integer type it will allocate uh, i i'm not sure exactly but i am saying that maybe four bit of uh, you know uh, memory 
uh, it will uh, whenever you assign that data memory will be allocated right but then only you can run so if you declare anything within a code it will treat as a um, string data type so then there is a different data types that a list list is a group of uh, within a uh, you know uh, parenthesis you can write a uh, many number of uh, data a dictionary means you can use a list is a array you can say that array i will explain later you will study it so dic um, a, um, dictionary means you can use uh, you know combination of number and then list of uh, you know uh, um, character strings as well okay let's move on to here um, you know keywords so token so you know that token means it's a punctuation mark and words are called the tokens here uh, keywords i already uh, told you keywords are special meaning and there are case sensitive in python um, we 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 going to use many keywords false true or false and then if for loop for and then import and i'm not okay i don't i have to write it here otherwise now if not true false you know or for and then uh, and define define function try you know with these are all called the yells yell if then uh yes as i think so uh, in, in few more uh you know keywords are there they have a special meaning if means you know that that is the condition if uh, you know this is true means you do something i uh, false means do something so not means uh, a not uh, a is not uh, b means both are uh, different values something like that if a is true you know everything has uh, you know separate meaning right uh, so when you use these keywords it is a case sensitive you cannot uh, you know change that uh, cases true or false you first letter should be capital the rest of the letters are small letter you know if and then not a rest of them you have to de define as a small letter okay that is a keyword identifiers is a uh, you know a name that are given to the uh, particular value so that value may be a you know string type or a, you know number type or date type or any any objects or anything okay you know in um, python we have a uh, different uh, identifiers is, uh, <coughs> let's let me explain here uh, da, 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 da. identifiers guys it's time's up right you have a next session right or not no no, no you don't have a no. class after that no no Okay, oh, let man. me let me uh, take one more ten more five more minutes because I have something else to submit to. Okay, that is PyCharm. Okay, so in PyCharm, the identifiers uh, means it will start with uh, you know let only letters and the first character, uh, first letter, first word. Uh, how do you say that? It should be a character. you cannot you know identifier cannot start with a number or any special character or anything okay so you have to define that identifier with a alphabet either capital letter or small letter that is not a matter if you are writing that uh, you know with a two words you have to connect with underscore so for example um employee name you are defining that one variable uh, you know name equal to employee name so you cannot write like that so you have to connect with underscore so only uh, it will accept underscore the rest of the uh, special characters you cannot use in the identifiers okay so you can use numbers as well you know uh, employee name one and then you know uh, emp uh, two or three whatever it will accept it but um, first letter should be character okay then 
um, <coughs> one more thing you can use it uh, for example uh, how do you say that um, my file okay my dot file so you can contain a uh, if you declare like this it will throw error okay only underscore is a, a special character you can use in the identifier okay this is valid this one is valid and then um, i would say that okay this one is valid for example <coughs> underscore you can define that uh, date or whatever uh, date or any name only these three uh, identifiers are valid here if you use uh, you know my dot file it is a invalid type okay suppose if you use um, hyphen so you know the difference of hyphen and underscore only underscore is uh, acceptable in python identifier so rest of the all other special characters you cannot use in the make a note identifiers okay so, uh, uh, you know, uh, within uh, if you uh, define identifier, for example, employee name um, equal to within double quotes, you can use anything, you know, ABC or whatever, these are that. You can use anything within this. That is a constraint using a uh, colon, okay, quotes, okay. So you know the difference between uh, you know identifier and then value. Okay, in value, if it is a string type, you can use. Uh, you have to use with us either single quote or double quote. Um, you know uh, identifier it will uh, accept only underscore. So you know the difference of uh, underscore and hyphen, right, guys? Okay, so identifier only again. I'm keep on uh, telling you identifiers accept only underscore, not hyphen, not any other uh, special characters. Okay, um, in uh, in Python we have different type of identifiers. You know, string literals. You can say that the literals, uh, numeric literals, boolean literals, and then special literals called none, and then. Uh, you know, a collection of a list and then dictionary. I will explain one by one. Okay, let me write a small program here using only, uh, you know, identifier. Okay, so already I told you A equal to name. Okay, name, employee name. I will write it. Employee name equal to rows. Then, um, TP. P equal to 75, whatever, 576 or something. Then uh, sum equal to, you can do uh, any calculation or whatever, 76 into 3 or whatever. Then what you're going to do, print, how you write it. So in the print statement, you know, what you want to print, you want to print the employee name or, you know, um, this one is a string type. This uh, identifier is a string type. This one is a uh, number type. Number type means it, it is an integer. So, you know, if you, uh, in a number data type means you can classify uh, in it is an integer and then floating. So, here if you declare without any fractional point, it is treated as an integer. So, the memory allocation will be, the, uh, you know, according to our um, data type. So if you declare floating point, definitely it will take more memory. Okay, then next uh, sum. So I want to print employee name, EMP name, comma with you know uh, TTP. Okay, then you you can run that program by clicking triangle button here either or from clicking here or shift F10. Okay, then if you read it print rows and then only this value because we pass that parameter emp name under ttt okay so if you want to print next line then uh, tomorrow we will see the escape characters so yeah uh, you know uh, we have set of escape characters uh, how we can i know uh, write uh, sorry return that values in a 
new line or you know using a tab or something okay so this is how you're gonna write a python program so using uh, i just use only um string literal and then number literal okay guys so far you okay right yes ma'am okay okay that's all yes, uh, we'll i'll wind up now and then we will resume tomorrow with small small programs okay okay uh, when your uh, term exam starts 18th or 19th i'm not sure i 17th right uh, the third exam is a computer science you know um, definitely uh, i given the chapter python fundamentals as well so in this uh, python fundamentals you going to learn um, you know what is literal tokens uh, uh, you know i will give you small programs as well so you just uh, try to you know if you have a computer that is okay otherwise you know whatever i have taken in the class that only that uh, you know i will uh, ask it as a question okay so don't worry about it if you don't have uh, if you don't have any laptop or anything okay yes ma'am what about this test ma'am what test questions portions already i have sent in the group no, you haven't no. checked it ya yeah, binya it's not clear can you uh, you know adjust your mic and then talk ma'am for today's test the test what are the portions ma'am oh today's to test you don't have test today oh really we have <laughs> once again our new time table oh yeah 5 to 6 uh -huh. okay weekly test right okay never mind um you are not going to write test i'll uh, inform it to principal sir okay okay ma'am so after break you have started today so don't worry about it next week onwards we will write every day test okay sorry every week test yes ma'am okay bye now thank you ma'am thank you